Hello my soccer universe, I haven't shown you jerseys from my collection in a while and yeah there are actually quite some more that have been added during this year and uh, some very few old ones that I haven't shown you. So I want to catch up a little bit with at least two or three in the next few days from my collection national team jerseys, European jerseys for now. And the first one I want to show you is I got this this year. I'm wearing blue here. I have the same colors here. It's the Iceland 2016-17 home jersey. Um, my first area jersey. So that's always a plus. Um, that's a jersey that I know when I saw it uh, for Euro 2016 that I actually I liked it instantly. Except maybe for this little gradient here. We'll look at that later. Uh, but it added. And then when Iceland did so well, even though they beat Austria. That is never a reason for me to not like uh, a team or a jersey. Um, so even though that happened, they also beat England in that one. So it became an instant, yeah, I need to have this one. Unfortunately, it was always too expensive because, yeah, it got valuable because of the um, Icelandic performances. However, this year, I, you know, I check regularly this flea market page. I think I saw this for... 15 euros, 19 euros, something like that. Really cheap. I think uh, at the same time they had one that was XXL. This is an L, I think. Yeah, this is an L. It's a teeny bit tight on me. Um, I I think that an XL or XXL on classic football shirts for like 80 pounds, 75 pounds or something, something like that. So I said, Gotta get that one and it arrived <laughs> and uh, you saw the opening video of that one. It is the real deal. The only thing that I think is happening, but I saw this now on when they played in Turkey. I saw the, uh, another shirt ahead like that. I think that the crest is a little bit uh, squished to the side. Maybe that's a printing error, but I always like this blue. I think this stripe here from the Icelandic flag is great. I think this is an excellent should be in any Iceland shirt. I'm not so sure about the gradient here. You know, it's little blue circles that get thicker around the crest and then thinner that kind of fade in and out. That makes it a little bit weird. Looking on the other side, it makes also the crest pop a little bit more. Uh, Area logo as the crest is just a sticker uh, on Area logo. Similarly, uh, there's this Führer Island, which means forward Iceland in Icelandic very old language with very weird letters the weirdest thing about this one is the color i mean it doesn't look that bad but look at this here that doesn't make much sense to me on the back is nothing except the icelandic flag which is also a nice feature and yeah uh one thing that kind of uh puzzled me and i think it's still the real deal is that the sleeve cuffs in white are so thick and also very interesting uh, you know, this is the inside cuff. So that makes it definitely interesting. We have here the authentic tag. So yeah, there's also a very slim tail, but it doesn't, go, uh, it's on the sides, it fades out. So that's also an interesting thing. Maybe because of those little things, maybe a teeny bit over designed. I think the color is overthinking it a bit too much. Uh, but I really like this jersey. It's, a, it's definitely one of my favorites, to be honest. I wish that Iceland was doing better, but you know, maybe they'll make it to, 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 to the Euros. So let me know what you think about this jersey, uh, whether you have it or not, any memories attached to it. Um, drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!